some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we uh, will look at the arrest of Joey Surreal Camera out in Miami, Florida. So Arizona gave him the boot. Now he's back here in Florida. Oh, what a shame for us here in Florida. But at least the police took care of him this time. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm a what? Police agitator. Oh, you're the one that, that didn't want to identify. This is the guy that I'm doing a complaint on over here. This guy right here. I'm taking pictures in a public area, bro. This video is rather incomplete, but let's go ahead and hear it from the horse's mouth. Get some uh, details into why he was arrested at this point. How are you going to tell me when I'm outside handcuffed telling me that, that, that outs the inside is private? That's why I got an ID in a public building? Yes, my dim-witted little friend. There are certain buildings you've got to show your ID to get into and to get even further in. I mean, come on, Joey, as much auditing as you've done, you still haven't figured out there's some buildings that are just that way, nor have you even thought to ask why. Instead, you just want to sit there and argue. In a public building? But I ain't got an ID shit. You guys need to learn the law, bro. Private is inside the building, according to them. Mr. Hernandez, Officer Hernandez, I know you're hearing me right now. Learn the law, buddy. Dude, uh, you don't make any sense at this point because you're spouting off a bunch of garbage and a bunch of nonsense because you have no clue what any of the laws say. Are you not aware that you can be trespassed from a public building? I mean, didn't you learn your lesson out in Arizona when you were banished from over 20 libraries in Pima County, Arizona? Are you that damn dense? I'll just go ahead and answer that for you. Yes, you are. You are incredibly stupid, my friend. You are the shining example of how to be stupid. I would expect that from somebody who probably dropped out of fifth grade. Outside is public, but inside is private, and I have to ID by law. What law is that, bro? I don't got ID shit to go inside a public building in a public accessible area to film. Those elevators don't have restricted signs. What did I do? I went inside the elevator. I went to the fourth floor. According to the, the public employee that was working in that fourth floor, as soon as I walked, I jumped out of the elevator. She tells me that it's, it's a public area. Yes, it's open to the public, but we're closed for lunch. You gotta leave. I never heard that in my life. The public area is closed for lunch. And I gotta leave and come back. Without the camera, she didn't want to be filmed. She called the cops on the fourth on the fourth floor. That's what started up stirring up the spot right there, the pot right there. Dude, you're not helping your cause to make yourself look like an intelligent man whatsoever, considering that certain areas can and will be closed during lunchtime, especially to the public, because they don't want people walking back there and. Uh, taking sensitive material out of areas that it shouldn't be taken out of. Do you get my drift, you freaking moron? So in other words, security reasons, you gibbering idiot. So that's what I would think would be happening here. He uh, refused to follow security protocols, and he got the cops called on him. That's what I assume happened here. Now I'm making inferences based on what he's saying, but that's usually the case with this dipstick. He puts his camera in the face of everybody around him. He gets into areas that he's not supposed to be in. He calls everybody tyrants, even though he's the little tyrant himself. He wants to fight tyranny so bad, but in that in the, his fight to become the uh, champion against tyranny, he has become tyrannous himself. In fact, you will see it later on. He wants everybody to conform to his way, to do things only his way. That's a, pretty much a shining example of what a tyrant is. If we're going by the standards of Joey's surreal camera, that is. So let's carry on with the arrest video, shall we?
Yo, they're trying to arrest me. You good? No. What's he here for? I don't come here for this, bro. I'm just taking pictures and I'm leaving. That's it. So I heard the word arrest. You guys gonna arrest me unlawfully? You know, seeing as how you want to call everybody tyrants, but you sure as hell want to act like a tyrant, I'm going to go ahead and call you Little Boots. Do you know where that comes from? I'll give you a little hint. It comes from the Roman Empire days. It is the nickname of a Roman emperor. Gaius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, a.k.a. Caligula. You see, Caligula essentially translates into English as Little Boots. That was a nickname given to him by some uh, soldiers when he was a child. So I'm going to present you with that nickname on my channel. Is that all right with you, Little Boots? Well, at any rate, I am also going to treat your word as uh, questionable at best. But from what I gather, uh, you were up on the fourth floor and they probably wanted you to leave. And you probably caused an issue up there and they asked. Uh, so therefore, you got trespassed, which is a uh, offense in Florida. If you don't leave, it is when as somebody asks you to, it is trespassing. Just like in any other state, dude. For being in a public area, taking pictures? No? No, you don't want to talk. That's fine. I'll, t I'll take you walking around. And I'll wait. Everything's good? Good. Yes, good. This guy's a big tyrant right there. I have a huge complaint that I did yesterday on him. What's up? He's the guy that moved the car for me. Tell, tell him that what I'm doing. Tell him. Not enough. Yeah, I'm doing. I'm working a story on the building in public areas. That's it. Bro, whatever he's whatever he's telling me to do is unlawful, bro. At this point, an officer played some uh, copyrighted music to try to disrupt uh, Joey's revenue stream for this video. So, uh, I'm going to skip ahead to where he gets arrested. And I'm going to cut out that copyrighted music myself. So, let's go ahead and enjoy this one little arrest. Something to get us through the day. Look, bro. It's Disney News. You kicking me out of the building? I'm just saying the door's out. Right? I know where it's at. I'm just taking pictures, bro. Let me finish taking pictures, man. Come on, man. Don't stand so close to me, bro. I was on my way out. Okay. I was on my way out. Isn't it amazing? Every time the cuffs start to come out, they always say, I was just on my way out anyway. Oh, shit. I was on my way out. So you guys are just bullying me out of here. Why are you doing that, bro? Let me finish taking pictures, bro. All right, so have a nice day. You're impeding my way, bro. Come on, man. Bro, look at these tyrants, bro, in Miami. This is why we film, bro. I'm just taking pictures, and they had a meltdown. It's a public building, bro. Okay, you're trying to give me a copyright. It's not going to happen, bro. It's not going to happen. This guy's, this guy's trying to give me a copyright strike, guys. Come on, man. This is this is this is this is a joke, bro. Why are you standing so close to me, bro? For real, stop. You're you're causing a disturbance. Comply, bro. Stop resisting. Stop resisting and comply, bro. To the First Amendment. I'm just taking pictures, bro. From this point on, the copyrighted music was pretty much drowning out a good portion of the arrest anyway. So I'm gonna play some non-copyrighted music, and we can enjoy the show with some good tunes.
Well, little boots, uh, you want to complain about everybody being tyrants, but in the end, you certainly act more like a tyrant than anybody else that you have ever encountered. You bully people, you push people around like they're your own little playthings. You invade offices that are most likely secure for a good reason. I know I enjoyed watching this arrest, and I'm sure many of my subscribers enjoyed watching it as well. At any rate, I hope you guys actually did enjoy the video, and I appreciate you for watching it, and I will see you on the next one.